Hey, how's it guys? Right, so this is one of the questions I get pretty often. How do I run the select lines in VS Code? So for example, uh, here in my demo.py script, instead of run the uh, entire Python program, I only want to run these two lines to import the libraries. And how do I do that? So in this video, I'm going to share my VS Code configuration setting. So in the future, we'll be able to manually uh, run the slide lines. Now I remember in the past, uh, VS Code will give you uh, the menu option to run the select lines. But I think they took out the option. Let me take a look. Yeah, I don't see the option showing anymore. Anyway, let me give you an example. So let's say I want to run uh, these two lines. And I can use my shortcut Control B to import the libraries. Next, if I want to create my uh, objects. So for example, if I want to create my list one and list two objects, I can highlight these two lines, use my shortcut and create the objects. And I can print the results in the terminal. And I found being able to run my script either line by line or by code blocks really helped me debug my Python code much more efficiently. Some people may prefer to use breakpoints, but it's all come down to personal preference. Right, so here I'm going to launch my uh, shortcut JSON file. So I'm going to use the shortcut Control Shift P to launch the uh, command parlor. Then I'm going to search for shortcuts in JSON file. And right now I'm setting the shortcut keys to Control plus B. So here you want to add a new uh, JSON block. And you want to assign the shortcut key based on your preferred uh, preference. They want to uh, specify the command. So using the Python that execute slash in terminal command, and that's to VS Code that when I'm writing a Python code, I want to be able to execute the select lines in my terminal. And I want to be able to execute uh, this command in these following settings. So this one is going to be uh, when my focus is on the editor itself. Or my focus is on the uh, find input focus. And I think this one is for uh, Jupyter Notebook. I'm not so sure. And the last one is basically the most important uh, component, which is want to set the language ID to Python. And once you add this uh, shortcuts object to your key binding JSON file, now you can go back to your Python script. You can select the lines that you want to execute. Then you can use the shortcuts keys that you assign and run the code. Alright, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.